All righty, so we have Liam. We're going in a completely different direction here now. Good. Uh, can I wear an Irish sweater with my kilt? What color? <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Irish sweaters go well with kilts, you know, like the cable knit sweater kind of thing. Um, the traditional color, obviously, is cream or ecru, like un undyed, unbleached, whatever. Uh, wool, the, uh, this, that would be fine. I would also say um, charcoal or a color that tones with it. Typically, mm -hmm. Irish sweaters are not done in a, well, the ones that we have, I should say, the ones from the companies that we know that, that offer Irish sweaters. Um, they're usually done in like green, navy, charcoal, and ecru. That being said, yeah. the navy would be fine with modern color tartans, might look a little bit odd with ancients. Um, the green, the greens have to kind of go together. If it's like a, a foresty green and you have a modern tartan or an ancient tartan and it doesn't go well, I might forego it. Um, but yeah. charcoal or ecru, absolutely. Yeah, I'd go with the, I, I personally prefer the charcoal because I'm a slob. And the last time I had an ecru sweater, the first thing that happened, of course, was I spilled coffee on it. You know, um, it's hard to, if you want to broadcast Irish, then go with the ecru because it is, it is a de facto national symbol. It is a de facto cultural symbol. It's got a lot of misinformation surrounding it, but but the, but the, the, the style itself, you know what I'm talking about. Rocky knows what I'm talking about. A little bit, a little bit. Um, but, but it is, if you, if you want to scream Irish, go with the ecru. Um, but for my money, the charcoal is a better investment. You're going to get more use out of it in terms of um, going with different kilts if you become a collector or just regular wear. Pants, you know? So, you know, it matches yeah. everything. Jeans, yeah. exactly. I would say this as well. If you are a silver fox, you're a man with, you know, a bit of gray up top or a little bit of gray in the beard, check out the gray. Absolutely. Gray tweeds like Eric and I have on, gray sweaters. Right. They, they make you look more distinguished than you are in some cases, um, but they definitely add a level to your look. Um, and they definitely make you feel more, a little bit more distinguished. Uh -huh. 100%. Yep. Yep. Mr. Mac. No, Eric. Yes. I have a question for you. Okay. Ecru sweaters. Yes. Now, if you're going to wear an Ecru sweater with your kilt, would you then, based on the top matching the kilt hose thing, would you then wear cream colored hose? <laughs> I hate you. Uh, I don't care. Um, <clears throat> how do I answer this? Uh, <laughs> for those who don't know, we have a rather unfair, but very valid bias against cream hose here. Um, because many moons ago, the, uh, the kilt hire industry in the UK and then bagpipe bands and such got into doing cream hose because they were easy to provide and you know you didn't have to worry about color matching you just give everybody the same color hose just cream there you go done and a lot of people now consider them to be very traditional and very formal they're not um and we we kind of dislike them here just they just look like a rental outfit they look kind of phoned in but we also often tell people that it is advisable to do a top and bottom matching with your colors like if you have if you're wearing a, a green tie with your kilt, you might want to consider having that toned green in the flashes or in the kilt hose that you're wearing, you know, top and bottom balancing in your outfit with the kilt in the middle, kind of bringing everything together in the tartan. So could you wear a green hose? Maybe if it was a, a really thick pair, like hand nets or, or something like that, or a okay. Lewis hose, something that's, that has some body to it. Um, Some the, pattern to it as yeah, well. Exactly. The, the yeah, exactly. But the thin, uh, really really light cream, almost white, that uh, economy hose come in, I, I still couldn't bring myself to do it. I'm sorry. I could not bring okay. myself to do that. Okay. But cream colored flashes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was going to, I feel like quoting uh, uh, the movie Tombstone. Again, Irish Culture Day, why not talk about the movie Tombstone? <laughs> <laughs> There are Irish cowboys. When it comes to Crete and Killhoes, my hypocrisy knows no bounds. <laughs> yep. Indeed. Oh my God. Uh, you had to say that. I had to get you. All right, Mr. Mac. I'm your Huckleberry. I'm your Huckleberry. <laughs> I'm going to invent cream colored flashes just for that. You're daisy if you do. <laughs> Fit in. There you go. <laughs>